Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. And god damn it, we're gonna have to continue Call Clover, don't we? Well, we're gonna have to go to the alternate ending. So that means we'll have to choose the secondary route. The route where Nirvana pointed out. So on that note, I'll see you when we get to the only fight on that route. So, this is the place Sis was pointing to? Sis, is this where the Azure is? Amazing. I never knew there was such a place under the NOL. What could that be? I feel as if the air is trying to crush me. Azure? Is that the Azure? My goodness! Unexpected guests! Hmm. Part of the continuum shift? Hmm. Oh, I didn't even know you were there! Who are you? Oh my, where are my manners? Sincerest apologies. I am Hazaba, from the Novus Orbis Librarium Intelligence Department. And you are... Call Clover. Vigilante extraordinaire, correct? How do you know who I am? Well, for starters, I'm pretty sure we've met before. You... You are the NOL agent who was with Miss Noel! Ah, so you do remember me. I'm touched. Whoa! Sis! Gosh, that was dangerous! I could have been hurt! That's a big no-no, Nirvana. You can't use violence to solve all your problems. You know... my sister? Just who exactly are you? Huh? Didn't I just introduce myself? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, you're such a silly kid. Go! Oh, if you're also with the intelligence department, then you must know where my father is. Also? My, my, so you've been talking to other librarian agents, have you? Well, dang, this won't do at all. All the people just running around doing as they please. Who's their commanding officer, anyway? Oh, wait. <laughs> That would be me, wouldn't it? Ugh. Come on now, Carl Clover. Why so serious? I've dealt with a lot of adults just like you. You act friendly and speak and have truths. But in the end, you're really just trying to deceive me. Thanks to all of them, I know how brutal this world can be. Oh? Well, well, this is rather interesting. I certainly won't deny you have had a number of rather, uh, shall we say, cruel experiences. I think we've exhausted the potential for this discussion. More important than my past is the whereabouts of Ragna the Blood Edge. Tell me where he is! You are a vicious little bugger, aren't you? No wonder Novana is so obedient. The proud son of Relius Clover. You know... My father? Kind of a hard person to get, isn't he? I'll be honest with you, kid. I have a little trouble putting up with him myself. Sis, this person... Oh, come on! What's the matter? Why the scary face? Oh, don't tell me. You actually want to fight me? Well, see, the thing is, I don't really like fighting. Unfortunately for you, I couldn't care less about what you like. Now, tell me everything you know about my father and Ragna the Blood Edge. Yeah, yeah, well, it looks like Ragna hasn't shown up yet. I suppose I can play with you for a bit. Yet? I guess we're in the right place after all. Sis! All right. Show me what you've got, boy. And now we have to take on Hazuma. Ugh. Well, normally, 
This would be a groan moment because I hate playing as Carl Clover. I really fucking do! But... This time, I'm not gonna just be a one and done loss this time. We're just gonna beat this guy and just get it over with. And yeah, I used my burst. I did. Because, let's face it. He's just gonna keep blocking until I actually get through to him. But for the most part, uh, do I like playing us Hulk over? No. And I damn sure don't like the fact that my grapple has been countered three freaking times. What a pain. It's alright though. It's alright. After this, it's uh, this is the last fight I have to show, basically. Because I am off screen Noel. No, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, I have to beat Noel again in order for me to get the actual option for the gag reel. So, yeah, this is the last episode for Carl. Bless the Lord Almighty, I never want to play as this guy ever again. Chances are, Chrono Phantasma will say, I heard you, and I'll make you do it. Even if you're rotten, I guess you're still Nirvana, aren't you? Sis, it's time for the finale! Target confirmed. Nox Nictoris class weapon. What in the... Reinforcements? Talk about playing dirty! Deploying pedals. Commencing elimination of target. Go! Huh? Wait! Huh? Process terminated. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? You do what I tell you, not whatever the hell you feel like doing! God damn it! Is this part of the continuum shift too? Takamagahara, you are such a pain in the ass. Sis, can you move? I'm okay. I can still fight. Oh, man. How do I put this? This is really, really discouraging. I'm supposed to believe this little prick is another piece of this godforsaken puzzle? Fuoco! What? One hand? So you think you've seen some pretty messed up stuff, right? Well, I'll give you a taste of real now. Don't you dare move, you little shit! And stay out of the way of my game, alright? Don't make fun of me! Are you serious? You can't be serious! Did you really think you were gonna take me down with that? That?! <laughs> Wake up! No! No! Crap! Sis! What's going on? I... I can't... move! Yep. I suggest... No! I insist that you enjoy the show from up there. Trust me, it'll be the best show you've ever seen! Shame your sister won't be able to enjoy it with you. <laughs> uh, uh, sis! 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 This is fun, right? <laughs> yeah, alright. Hmm, what should I do next? Ooh, that was a good one. Nice and crisp. Sis! Please! Stop! Stop it! I'm sorry, what's that? You'll need to speak up. I just can't hear you. <laughs> please! Please stop this! I beg you! Sis! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, does this feel great! Isn't she just gorgeous? I mean, 
Something about the way she falls apart is just an incredible commentary on the futility and impermanence of life. Don't you think? This is art. What's that? Little too much for the old heart to handle? Come on now, the fun's just starting. I've got so much more in mind for your dear sweet sister. <laughs> <laughs> Try and remember this, kid. This is war. Compassion, forgiveness, mercy. What do you think this is, a tea party? You won't find any of those here. Little boys that still piss themselves when shit starts to get real don't belong in something like that. Capiche? So you burn that little nugget of information into whatever you've got that passes for a brain, and please, do try and be a little more entertaining next time, okay? You think you can do that for me? Please? Ah, oh, well, it's not like it matters. You were a good catalyst while you lasted. Bye-bye. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off! <sighs> Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, it's you. And hey, you brought Nirvana too, huh? That's not my sister's name! Ah, uh, calm down, kid. I know what's up. Yes, she's with me. What's up, Nirvana? Glad to see you're all fixed up. What did you know about? Yeah, well, I'm a god here. Anyway, you don't need to be so courteous here. Come again? We take this easy around here. You don't need to have that, ugh, just whatever man sort of attitude. Uh, oh, okay. It's really not my nature, but I'll try. By the way, what exactly is this place? Professor Kokonoe's love clinic. Love? Yep. Love. L-O-V-E. You can tell me anything. Why do I feel like I'm suddenly under the gun? Oh, okay. Then, please hear me out. I don't know the why or how of it, but I was thrown into the cauldron and ended up here. Everything after that is kind of a blur. I see. And my sister was in pieces. I see, I see. Uh, um, Miss Kokonoe? Yes? Aren't you being a bit too remiss about this? No, you just have the worst luck imaginable. I just feel bad for you. I mean, damn. Your luck is terrible. If you keep going like this, your life is gonna be crap. That's a rather cruel way to put it. I don't think it's like that at all. Right, sis? Not you too! I never thought... What should I do? Anyway, first off, we need to start by getting over your gloominess. Am... Am I really that much of a downer? 
Uh, yeah. Like a mega downer. I really don't see myself like that, to be honest. Can you give any advice? Sure. After all, this is a safe place. A place where you can get advice for achieving the true ending, and a place to have your worries listened to. And made fun of. Um... Sis? She's telling you to do your best. You can actually hear what she's saying? More or less. Dot 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 and all that. Anyway, for a quick fix, why don't you just try and imitate someone cheerful? Mimic someone cheerful? Like who? Rachel. I have this really weird feeling of deja vu right now. Didn't we go through all of this in the last game? And besides, Rachel isn't the most cheerful of people. Alright, fine. How about Tao Kaka? Huh? Miss Kitty? I don't think any human could pull that off. D do I really have to be like her? I'm just kidding. Oh, I see. That's a relief. S sorry Um, is there any advice you could give me to get the true ending? Well, don't take the easy route, I guess. If you make choices that push you to your limits, then I think the path to the true ending will unfold. That seems a little... vague. Well, you're supposed to figure this stuff out on your own. Thank you, Miss Kokonoe. Okay, sis. Let's get going. Right. Later. Good luck. You take care, Nirvana. I wonder what he'd be like if he was actually happy. Would he be like, <laughs> Look, sis, it's a butterfly. Woo! Thank goodness we're done the alternate ending. I'll see you after I beat Noelle again in order for me to do the gag reel. And I'm back! from beating Noel. This is the option for the gag reel. So, with that said, enjoy the gag reel because I'm going to enjoy not ever playing Call Clover again for the rest of this blasted game. I mean, I love the game, I hate Call Clover. And that's all there is to it. On with the gag reel. I knew it. Oh, will you listen to what I have to say, Master Carl? You seem... down. Yeah, that hurt! The, the pain is excruciating, Master Carl! Carl, what happened to you? He used to be such a sweet and caring young boy. Huh. I think I get it now. Uh, what did you get? I didn't even see you leave. Hmm. I read about this very situation in a book I found in the doctor's room a long time ago. Wh wh what? A, a book in Miss Lychee's room? Okay. Now you're just being creepy. I, I apologize. I could not help myself. Moving on... What kind of book was it? It was one of those How to Treat a Child Who's Down books. Perfect! That sounds exactly what Carl needs right now. Do you remember what instructions you saw in this venerable tome? If I remember correctly, you have them lay on their side and have them relax. Carl! Lie down on this bed right this instant! Now, you must close your eyes and relax. Relax, I say! Don't worry about it, sis. I'll do what they say. For now. Now try to remember. Remember? About what? Remember a time in the past where you were completely relaxed. A time when I was completely relaxed? Exactly. You ready? Here I go. One, two, three. Carl, are 
aren't you a little scared? Why would I be scared? Don't worry, tonight is just a night like any other. Besides, weren't you the one who suggested we get to the bottom of the mysteries of the Academy? Um, it was mostly Makoto's idea, but... Wait a second. Where is Makoto? Right here. She's cowering behind me. Scary! What the heck? Makoto, you were the one who suggested this little adventure. You should be the one taking the lead. No, 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 no! I can never do something like that. What are you talking about? You didn't think it would be quite this scary, did you? Yeah... <laughs> How come I'm not surprised? Never mind. I'll take point. Are you serious? Oh, little Carl, you're the best! Yes, well, I am a man, after all. Oh, Carl, I think I'm falling for you. Whoa! Miss Makoto, don't jump on me like that! It's obviously shedding season and your fur will get all over my pants! <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess I got a little carried away. You know, Carl, I never thought about it before, but you're pretty conscientious about your appearance, aren't you? You always seem to be taking a lot of time and care when you dress in the morning. Yes, I have to credit my sister for that. She always told me that wrinkles in your clothes are wrinkles in your mind, and that you should always be presentable, no matter what the occasion. What a nice sister. Yes, she is. Sis is really elegant, and she's got a nice personality. At the same time, she's got a great sense of humor, and when we used to live together, she'd always make little puzzles and riddles for me. And her jokes were riotously funny. For example, how many dead hamsters does it take to change a light bulb? Oh man, just thinking about it makes me laugh until I... Stop, stop. Just stop right there! Carl, if you keep going on about your sister, we'll be here until dawn! Ah, I'm sorry. It's just, whenever I talk about my sister, I... <laughs> Aw, I'm jealous. I wish I had a cute little brother like you now. Be serious, Miss Noel. That'd be impossible, you know? No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'd never be anyone's younger brother but my own sister's. Oh. I see, I think. See? It's all elementary, my dear Noel. <sighs> well then, we should get moving or we'll be here all night. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, let's plunge ourselves into the seven mysteries of the Academy. So now, let's go! Turn off all the lights during the late night hours to conserve electricity. By the way, Makoto, what sort of mysteries are we going to be solving? I didn't even know the school had any. Huh? Uh, well, um, well, you know, there's the, um, oh, oh, the laughing portrait of Beethoven. The skeleton model that dances around on its own. A piano that plays itself. A single step that appears out of nowhere. Balls that start bouncing on their own in the gymnasium. Cries coming from the toilets. The ghost of a girl that constantly tries to get you to come to the girl's bathroom on the third floor. Huh? That doesn't sound like the ones I heard. Huh? Carl, what mysteries have you heard about? The grease that just won't come off the frying pans, no matter how much you scrub them. The basketballs that were just left all over the place after being used. Weeds that just keep coming back, even after they've been pulled. The terrible sound quality of the school's PA speakers. The windowsill that for some reason is still dusty despite repeated cleanings. The squeaky floors when rain falls, and the mysterious door to the teacher's office that resists all efforts to fix it. Isn't that just... Yeah, totally. 
It's just the school staff and students bitching about how bad the facilities are. I thought as much. I guess it's because Carl is so nice and listens to what everyone has to say. Yeah. Carl is such a nice boy, isn't he? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! N now that you mention it, I've got a few mysteries of my own. Oh yeah? Let's hear them! A room that is never cleaned no matter how many times I ask. A sink left running for no reason. Dirty clothes scattered across the floor. Vegetables that... Wait, wait! Hold it right there! Isn't that... That's just you bitching about me and Noel! Yes, these are some very troublesome mysteries. Ah, it seems that you have a great many troubles of your own, Miss Subaki. Finally, someone who understands me. Thank you, Carl. Well, in all honesty, it really wasn't that hard to imagine. You two, stop it! <laughs> D did you guys just hear that? Yeah, I did. It came from the music room. Let's go! <laughs> you were right, Carl. It is coming from inside the music room. There must be someone in there. Who can it be? How the hell are we supposed to know? Do you think it's the portrait of Beethoven that's laughing? That seems the most likely explanation. not quite right. Do I need to go a little higher? <laughs> yes, that sounds about right. Now, let me try it with some dialogue. <clears throat> At last we meet! Oh dear brother of mine! How I've longed for this day to finally arrive! I see you have too! I can see you shiver with anticipation! Killing you now will be so sweet! Um... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Isn't that Class President Kisaragi? Yes, it is Class President Kisaragi. What on earth is he doing? Oh, I know! He must be rehearsing for some kind of play. A play? Could you think of anything else? He's popular enough that the drama club wouldn't hesitate to ask him for help when they're short on actors. I bet he's going to be starring in an upcoming performance. It, is that so? Of course. Yeah, that must be it. It, it all makes, makes sense, sense now. now. Well, so much for the laughing portrait in the music room. One mystery down, six to go. It's the piano. It's coming from next door. Everybody ready? I'm going to... Open the door. There. Yes, there. 
and turn? Perfect. Ah, you are as magnificent as ever, Madam Rachel. Ah, you dance exquisitely. Even I, Valkenhayn, am touched. To accompany you in this dance is the greatest honor I could hope for. Yes, excellent. You are amazing, Madam Rachel. Ah, I get it now. Uh, Carl, dazzle us with your wondrous powers of deduction. Um, I'm ashamed to admit I have no idea what's going on here. He's playing the piano as an accompaniment to whatever daydream he's having. In his fantasy, he must be dancing with someone. Listen to what he's playing. It's something very easy to dance to. And the passion with which he's playing, he must really love whoever he's fantasizing about. Carl, you're pretty amazing. I have to second that. Oh, no, not really. I mean, anyway. We've solved the great piano mystery. Only five more to go. Hey, here it is. Right here. This is the staircase with the step that magically appears out of nowhere in the middle of the night. All right, let's try climbing it and see what happens. There should be 12 stairs in all. Eight, nine, ten... Eleven, twelve, thirteen! Ah! There are thirteen steps! Why? Uh, calm down! Take a look at what we're standing on! Relax, everyone. It's just... a cat. Uh, a cat? It's huge. It's way too big to be a cat. Are you sure it's just a cat? Absolutely 100% positive. And it appears to be a stray at that. It must have snuck into the building somehow and just curled up on these stairs. It must be really tired. I doubt it's going to be waking up anytime soon. That must have been why some people confused it for an extra step. Ah, oh, a kitty. It's so cute. Carl, oh, you are amazing. Oh no, really, I haven't done anything of note. If one simply stays calm and thinks about the situation rationally, I'm sure they'd all arrive at the same conclusion that I have. Oh yes, before I forget, the bouncing basketballs in the gym? That's the substitute special ed teacher, Bang, trying to blow off some steam by practicing slam dunks. The cries from the toilets? Those are the pathetic cries of Lychee, the school nurse, as she desperately tries to squeeze herself into a miniskirt one size too small for her. The dancing skeleton in the science lab was the piano-playing butler from before. He was practicing his dance moves, and I guess he couldn't find a partner, so... Uh, amazing! You've already solved so many mysteries! Yes, I had a feeling that we would be unable to solve all of the mysteries before dawn, given you three's exuberance, so I took the liberty of doing a bit of poking around beforehand. Oh man, what would we ever do without you, Carl? But if you stop and think about it, 
I guess it makes sense that all the mysteries actually had fairly rational explanations. When they're afraid, people will often see things that aren't actually there, or at the very least, misinterpret things that are there. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, I don't know about you, but with everything that's happened, I'm just beat. I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of fun tonight. Really? If you really enjoyed yourself, then I guess it's mission accomplished. Come again? Carl, you seemed a little down lately, you know? You were homesick, weren't you? Ah, so that's why you guys... You planned all of this... for me? Yeah, sorta. <laughs> Everyone, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I really did have a great time. Oh, you don't need to thank us. The smile on your face is more than enough thanks for us. <laughs> That's strange. Weren't those three girls supposed to drag Carl this way? Oh my! Principal Ragna, what on earth are you doing in this compromising position. Well, if it isn't the rabbit vice principal. Oh yeah, well, why am I here? Carl came to me because he needed some help solving one of the seven mysteries. I'm supposed to be acting as a ghost girl or something. And here I am, sitting on my thumb. A girl? Please do refrain from saying such idiotic things. You are making me ill. Hey, what do you mean by that? I'm an awesome ghost girl! Ah, uh, no. No matter how one looks at you, one sees a pitiful fool who fell victim to his own students and has been, as the final insult, forgotten. Hey! Wait, what did you say? Hey, Vice Principal Rabbit! Hey! Hey! That was a gag reel, yay! And with all said and done, that meant we had to go through this guy's entire story just to get Lychee in, the father of the year. Hmm. Well, there's only one thing to do. Boobies! I'll see you all in the next episode as we play the Booby Lady. This is RP Man 985. I've been waiting to play as Lychee. Too bad she also is going to be two episodes short. Peace out! Take care and see you all in Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend.